long time ago, there's this little white girl named Little Red Riding Hood. I don't know why she just had red clothes for some reason. But her mom tells her one day, I need you to go to your grandma's house with this basket of food because she's sick. She got Ebola or something like that. So she's like, all right, I'll go. I'm going through the forest. She put on her hood, her little red hood, and she starts skipping through the forest. But when old girl goes skipping through the forest, there's this wolf that pops out of nowhere like, man, I ain't eight in days. I'm starving. I'm hungry. Ain't no Bambies around. Ain't no Thumpers. Ain't, ain't none of the little Disney creatures around here in the heat. But this little white girl walking around. She's like, you know what? I'm going to, like, trick her because she got some food in her hand. And I see she's going to her grandma's house. So I'm going to beat that heifer to her grandma's house and wait on her to get up in there. So she's skipping along. She finally gets to her grandma's house and... She knocks on the door. Don't anybody at the door. Come on, Grandma can't even get up lazy. I don't know. She might got that life alert stuff on her or something like that. So she opens the door. She goes into the room. She's like, Grandma, I got some food for you. Got the chicken, that gravy. I got the mashed potatoes, cornbread, and green beans. What do you want? And her stupid tale, because we've seen the story so many times, that it is a wolf in drag. Like, come on, do you not see the big snout and the ears and the fur, like, and the tail hanging out? Come on, and the bad breath. You're about this close. It's a wolf in drag. She's like, oh, what big eyes you got. The better to see you with. Oh, what a big mouth you have. The better to eat you with. Oh, wait, better to eat me with? What the? Grandma, you, uh, you got all timers or something like that. And the wolf tried to eat her, then this axe guy comes out of nowhere and busts down the door and chops the wolf in half. And the grandma comes out, like, not dissolved or anything, but okay. Like, what kind of story is this? And why is there a guy walking around with an axe in the middle of the woods chopping people up? Like, does he just do this for fun or does he just happen to be there? Like, or is he her uncle or a cousin or something like that? And nobody eats the food afterwards. What kind of story is this? This little white girl running in the woods, that's child endangerment right there. Like, you should call the police or the child services for letting a little white kid with a red hood walk around the woods by herself and then put in danger by a freaking wolf then you know that's animal in danger you should call like DCFS or something like that and put the dog the wolf in the pound and then call the police because there's a dude murdering people with axes like what kind of story is this this is stupid